Okay, so now that I covered eight-man football, time to go to 11-man. And we're going to start not that far up the road for me at the cross, on the south side for the cross central. Don't worry, we'll get to the north siders eventually too. But the central Red Raiders, uh, I mean Riverhawks, I don't know why they have to go to Riverhawks. I don't even know what a Riverhawk is. Someone explain to me what a Riverhawk is. But anyways, Central, they may be returning to their former glory. They may not be. But after going 5-5 five and five last season, it's looking like they might be returning to that former glory. Because... In 2021, they won just one singular game all year. And that was under the first year of Coach Paul Anderson, where they went 5-5. Five and five. Good 500 season. Nothing to be ashamed of. It means he had a winning record. But, obviously... So, what is the goal Central's looking for? Well, shouldn't that be obvious here, guys? Their goal is the same one every single, uh, you know, high school football team in the state has. Go win a state championship. Just win the state title. That's, that's the goal. But they gotta know. You gotta make the playoffs first. So, yeah. And if their goal is to make the playoffs with their junior and senior class, uh, that's receiving high praise, which I can understand. I see why they're receiving that high praise, because that would be the group who made them go from only one win to 500 at 5 and 5 instead of 1 and 9. So uh, the program it's a young team or at least for MVC standards it's a young team. I can tell you I've seen younger but for the Division 2 MVC they are a young squad. And Hi, they have high expectations. High expectations is either a good thing or a bad thing. A lot of places it ends up being a bad thing. Some places it ends up being a good thing. Well, a young team, high expectations. This will be interesting to see how that ends. They and for everything I see and what they're talking about. They have a young and fast team and, and a strong offensive and defensive line. Well, good news for them. Games are won in the trenches. The better the line, the better odds you win because, yes, you win in the back, defensive backfield with the wide receivers and all that, but in the trenches to apply the pressure to the quarterback is where you'll win the games the most. So where will Central be at the end of the season? I don't know. Odds are looking in their favor of be making the playoffs. But it should be an interesting season for Central. And who knows? I might be talking about a local team from the MVC. Making another deep playoff push.